the Mohegan Sun backstage. Gabriel Campillo, former world champion, his third time here in the U.S. He is the toughest fighter for Sergey Kovalov. Kovalov, he said that himself. He is the man that comes in here undefeated, who has won 16 in a row. It is the classic matchup, a former champ with something to still prove, and an up-and-coming unbeaten man who wants to show that it's been no luck about it. He certainly deserves to be considered one of the best in his division. And B.J. Flores and Steve Cunningham now take us inside the ring to break down this light heavyweight matchup. Talking about the Gabriel Campillo, Sergey Kovalev fight tonight, I'm gonna be playing Campillo. Now, one thing Campillo does, he's got a lot of experience. Now, for a southpaw fighter, what his key is, and what he told us today, he's gonna look to slide his right foot outside the orthodox fighter's left foot. What that does, it puts him in range to land a straight left hand, and then also dip down and land that right hook to the body or that right hook to the head. It'll keep him in punching position all night. What does Kovalev have to do if he wants to win the night? Well, Kovalev, as we know, is a solid amateur. He has a solid amateur background behind him. So he's going to, of course, utilize his jab to get in to work. And as him being a Russian fighter, he doesn't have the typical Russian style. He does use a lot of head movement and a lot of foot movement. So there's going to be like a foot chess game going on in there with him trying to get his foot around him so he can launch his right hand and left hook on him. And that's the money shot for an orthodox fighter to fight a southpaw, and we're going to see a good fight. Both fighters trying to get into position to land their offense. Kovalev's got the youth. Campillo's got the experience. And back with Freddie and BJ. Well, we just heard you break that down about the experience and the youth. So let's see. Now, what does the experience Campio have to do to win this fight? Yeah, well, Campio, he's got to use exactly like we said. He's got a lot of experience. Kovalev is a very, very fast starter. He's got to be careful not to get caught with any big punches of Kovalev early in this fight. Campio is not the biggest puncher in the world, but he is very physically strong, and he's going to have to use that physical strength to impose his will on a younger and hungry opponent tonight. All right, and then with that younger, hungry opponent who has a tendency to put guys away quickly, as we've seen uh, a couple of times recently, what about him tonight, Kovalov, Freddie? You know, Kovalov, he's a great puncher and a quick starter, and he's in there against he a very good boxer, of course, though, but the thing is, I think his power is going to be too much for him, and I, and I like him in the fight. Well, yeah, you see it, 19-0-1. He's fought some pretty good opponents. No one, though, with the experience of Campillo. And that's what Kovalov said. He wants to fight the best to see if he can continue to move up in the rankings. And he got uh, a great win last time we saw him. This will be his biggest test. Chris Mannix recently caught up with Kovalov. Chris. Thanks, Kenny. Sergey, what do you need to do to win tonight? Uh, be smart. Be smart and keep control. And. Uh, a lot of punching to uh, to the body and the head, like throw a lot of punching. And if uh, I, I will try and knock him out, if not, like the points, more working. You told us yesterday that Campillo was the best opponent you'll have faced. What are some of his strengths that you have to watch out for? Uh, he's like slick, uh, good defense. This is dangerous for me. <laughs> Thanks, Sergey. Uh, thank you. Kenny? All right, thank you, Chris. Campillo, he lost a tough split decision for the IBF title. Some thinks he should already be the IF, IBF champ. He's wanting to get back and make some noise in that top 10. Kovalev is trying to win for the 17th time in a row, win the 20th overall in his young career. A classic matchup. That's the way we have it in the main event on Fight Night Live when we come back. Welcome back to Fight Night on the NBC Sports Network. We start our second year with the matchup of light heavyweights. Gabriel Campio taking on Sergey Kovalov. Let's check in now. Chris is with the Kovalov camp. Chris. John, what do you want to see out of Sergey tonight? Uh, body punching, using the jab, going forward, moving forward, moving his head, making sure that he chops his kid down nice and smart. Campillo is notoriously a slow starter. Your guy is a fast starter. How important are the early rounds going to be? I think the early rounds are very important because if we put those rounds on the bank and the fight goes the distance, then we well, now um, uh, Campillo has to play catch up. You know, we get the rounds on the bank early, now he has to play catch up, and that, that might throw him off his fight plan. Campillo is a very good boxer. When you're training for someone in this fight, how are you preparing differently? 
Well, you know, I, I got the right southpaws that I needed for this fight here. I got bigger guys that can peel, um, stronger punches, uh, quicker. So that works in my favor because the kid, even though Campillo's good, the defense is still lacking because he hasn't been to the knee. It's, you know, he's, he's a straight up fighter. He's been to the waist. That's going to pre prevent problems for him. Thanks, Sean. Hey, thank you very much. And Kovalov now makes his way into the arena here at Mohegan Sun. John David Jackson, the champ himself, very high on Kovalov, has been. You saw it here on NBC Sports Network fight night when he took care of Lionel Thompson, and he's taken care of uh, most guys recently, making short work of them. He really has. He's really a very good puncher, and he's really a complete fighter. He's not just a puncher. He's a good boxer. He has a lot of amateur experience, and that helps him quite a bit. 19-0-1. He avenged that draw with a victory later on. He has 16 knockouts. He's won 16 straight. John David's talking about this is a big, fast-starting guy, BJ. Yeah, it is. And, you know, he's 19-0-1, 16 knockouts. But tonight is his first real opponent, Kenny. He's fighting a former world champion himself. Campillo is a proven guy. He's been in with the best light heavyweights in the world. And if Kovalev can have a good performance against a guy like Campillo, he's really making a statement here. Gabriel Campillo is 0-2 in the U.S. He has lost two controversial split decisions, both involving a title. One when he lost his title, and then the other when he was trying to get the IBF title. As you take a look at the man from Madrid, Spain, fighting for only the third time in the U.S., 21-4-1 overall, seven knockouts. They talk about him being a slow starter, but of those seven knockouts, five came, uh, they all came within the first five. But for 21 wins to have only seven knockouts, it's a 30%, 33% knockout ratio. It's not a lot, but Campillo's game is not to knock you out. It's to wear you down and punish you later in the fights with his southpaw style. He's a very tough, durable guy, and uh, he's got a good set of whiskers. He's got a very good chin himself, so uh, he hangs around in fights and takes you to the deep waters. You saw him uh, the last time out, February 2012. He lost to the Forest Cloud for the IBF title. That was a split decision loss. The second time it's happened to him in the U.S., Freddie. Yeah, it was a heartbreaker for, for, for him, and, uh, you know, he thought he won the fight. Uh, but, you know, we, uh, we're in a subjective, subjective sport, and uh, that's the way things go. And he talked about that yesterday. You know what happened? I'm putting it out. You can't think about it. No doubt he does. But he's coming in against a guy he knows that has a great punching ability. He does. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Kovalov gets ready for his biggest fight yet against former champ Campio. And a two-inch height advantage for Campio, who also has the reach advantage over Kovalov. Maybe that is a surprise to some because Kovalov seems to be a bigger guy when he's been facing other guys. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And the fight is official after four rounds. This scheduled for 10. Let's go now to Joe Antonacci to meet the participants. Boxing fans, here we go. As main events, Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports and Samson Boxing present our main event of the evening. Our main event, 10 rounds of action in the light heavyweight division. Main event judges, Dick Flaherty, Don Trella, Steve Weisfeld, and our main event referee, Michael Ortega. Boxing fans introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He comes to us tonight from Chebinsk, Russia, and weighed in at 175 pounds. Red trunks, white trim. Professional record, 19 victories. No defeats. One draw and 16 big knockouts. Please welcome Sergey Kovalov. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Red corner comes to us tonight from Madrid, Spain. He weighed in at 175 pounds, white trunks, red and black trim. Professional record, 21 victories, four defeats. 
one draw. Please welcome the former light heavyweight champion of the world, Gabriel. Our referee, Michael Ortega, has our fighters' final instructions. Gentlemen, I want a good clean fight. Caballos, una pelea limpia. Good luck to both of you. Buena suerte a las dos. Touch them up, toca la mano. Ten rounds. Lightheadings. We get ready now for the biggest fight of Sergey Kovalov's career. And in his last seven fights, only one time has he gone past the third round. We've seen him here on fight night defeat Darnell Boone and Lionel Thompson, making quick work of both men. And Gabriel Campillo coming in here, ranked number three in the world in the IBF. Kovalov ranked number eight by the WBC, number 10 by the WBA is underway. And those names you mentioned, Kenny, are, you know, they're good, solid journeymen, exactly what they are. And Campillo is a proven veteran, a proven guy who's been in with the best in the world. And uh, it's a completely different test in front of Kovalov tonight. And a southpaw, as you can see, and, Cam and uh, Campillo, and they were talking about that yesterday at the fighting meeting, fighter meeting, Freddie, about trying to get the quality opponents that could spar with Kovalov. Is Kovalov giving Campillo trouble early? But, yeah, we did talk about that, and... Uh, he understands how to fight a southpaw. He's got a good right hand, and that's what beats him. That's, what, that's in, my, in my book, that's what beats southpaws. And it's interesting to me that Campillo early was moving right into the right hand of Kovalov, moving right into it. And uh, Kovalov reminded him, hey, I can punch. Especially after Campillo yesterday said he had seen the video, he knows that Kovalov can punch. Yeah. And Kovalov's doing real good work here. He's landing the punches early. He's a fast starter. We know that. Break, break. And uh, he's definitely got the attention of Campillo. Kovalov starting strong. That is the way he does business. Campillo feeling him out. Campillo looks slow. He looks stiff. And uh, he always takes a couple rounds to get going. But Kovalev, it's Kovalev's job not to let him get going tonight. Doing good, good damage with those punches. Nice combinations here by Kovalev. I like to see him on the body a little bit more during this early. To me, it looked like Campillo didn't get very uh, warmed up in the dressing room. He didn't get very loose. He wasn't ready for the type of attack that Kovalev is going to bring because he's not able to counter any of the attacks that Kovalev is mounting. Kovalev with nice body shots as well. Yeah, when he came out, he was dry as a bone. He didn't warm up too well. And we talked about him warming up in the dressing room yesterday. And he, he knows he's in with a quick start. And the key is to warm up and be ready for him. Kovalev is moving the former champ all over this ring. He is, and Kovalev's got to be careful here. He's got to be very, uh, you know, careful not to overextend too much energy here. He's got a seasoned guy in front of him. He's got to pick his shots and be selective with what he lets go because in the third and the fourth round, Campillo's, if he's still there, it's going to be very tough for Kovalev. And a lot of these Russian guys with the amateur styles, they come over, they fight very well for three or four rounds. This is a 10-round fight. Campillo is very used to that, and he knows that, so. Here in the first, Sergey Kovalev trying to win for the 17th straight time. He has been controlling the tempo over the former world champ, Campillo. Time. Gabriel Campillo from Madrid, Spain, has traveled the world. We'll hear about it when we come back. And welcome back, Gabriel Campillo. Welcome to his world. From Madrid, Spain, you can see he has traveled almost everywhere, including Argentina for one fight. He's been to five countries from Kazakhstan all over Europe, and then he's made it twice to the U.S. Once he lost his WBA light heavyweight title to Shumanov, and then he lost a chance for the IBF title with Clown. And now with more on these journeys, let's go to Chris. Guys, I've been told this has not been the smoothest training camp for Gabriel Campillo. Now, ordinarily, he trains in Southern California. This time, he went back to Spain, he says, to be near his daughters. I've been told also this was a rocky camp for Campillo, which culminated with him not getting into the country until Wednesday because of visa issues. And Campillo here, thanks for that, Chris. 
He's in the red and white, and the red with the white trim is Sergei Kovalov. It's almost unheard of that at this caliber of fighting that Campio would make it in here only on Wednesday to fight. Very unusual. I mean, let's face it, he's still, he's still suffering from jet lag. It's a, it's a long, long flight like that. He's, the travel, the altitude, the, the atmosphere, it's very unusual for, for a fighter at this caliber to come in that late. And you see a dominant first round in terms of punches by Kovalev. How did you score that, BJ? No, it was easy round for Kovalev, 10-9. A dominant round. He actually shook up Campillo a couple times, but you see Campillo coming out far different in the second round. He's bouncing around a little bit and uh, doing some better work. Freddie, how did you score? Same 10 9, 10 9, but uh, you know, the thing is, he's starting to get hit with body shots here. I still see the same guy. Campillo flicks out his jab and seems to have better head movement here in this round, BJ. Yeah, he's got more bounce in his legs. He's moving around. He's still getting caught a little bit, but, you know, we knew this about Campillo. He's a slow starter, and, uh, you know, still the confusing thing is he's moving into Kovalev's right hand. You know, fighting, being a southpaw fighter, you never want to do that, but uh, maybe he's got a trick up his sleeve. Kovalev with good combination. You can, you can hear those combinations, Lynn, and he does have power in both hands. Well, they're good punches, but he's used to, Kovalev's used to when he lands those, the guy falling down. Sure. And uh, now Campillo's walking, walking at him and walking him back a little bit, and it's going to be a very interesting test for Kovalev. It will be. And I still expect uh, Kovalev to win the next couple rounds. It's just, you know, can he hold on down the stretch, or can he get Campillo out of there and uh, make it a non-factor? Beautiful combination by Kovalev. Jab to the head, right hand of the body, left hook up top. He's very, very talented. He's got great fundamentals. BJ, I think that comes from his amateur experience. He's a very, very well schooled fighter. Absolutely, and that's what you got to do against a straight up guy like Campillo is going to walk in. You got to cut the body in half. The head, the body, mix them back and forth, and uh, find offensive openings. Kovalev's doing a good job of that this round. Beautiful counter right hand off the left hand of Campio. Yeah, even though Campio is the taller fighter with the reach advantage, it doesn't look that way right now. No, it doesn't. It does mean it's, it's all about distance. Kovalev's getting a little bit closer, so he takes it takes his reach advantage away from him. Distance is, is really uh, something that really doesn't, it, you can take that away easily by just getting a little bit closer. Kovalev looking impressive. Once Time. again here in round two. Earlier tonight, Curtis Stevens became a middleweight champ. We'll be back live. Stay with us. Welcome back to Fight Night. USS Steve Cunningham and his wife, Libby, who's also his manager. Last time we saw Steve in another great fight, a tough split decision loss to Tomas Adamic back on December 22nd here on Fight Night. And back to live action, round three, Gabriel Campillo. Is feeling the pain from Kovalov. Sergey Kovalov trying to put away the world champ here, the former world champion. Kovalov comes out with his best power punches. And Kovalov has it stopped, and he's done. Sergey Kovalov has Campio on his knees. Six, seven, eight. And Kovalev showing the power that he's got. He hit him with a good right hand. Campillo caught him with the left hand. Kovalev immediately followed with a big right hand, and Campillo's in a lot of trouble here. And he's, Campillo can't come back, or can he, from this? You know, he's a veteran, so he has a lot of experience. He's got to cover up, Rob. He's down again. He's in a lot of trouble right now, Kenny, a lot of trouble. Sergey Kovalev has put the former world champ, Campillo, down twice early in round three. And this is impressive because none of the other champions have been able to hurt Campillo like this. And Kovalev is definitely making a strong statement. There's a lot to like about this guy. And Kovalev has Campillo back up in the corner again. And he goes to the third time. That's it. Sergey Kovalev has won for the 17th time in a row. His biggest thrust to date. And he has knocked down Gabriel Campillo, the former world champ wow. putting him down three times in the round unbelievable great performance and you know Campillo never really really gets started he, he is a, a slow starter but I think the jet lag had a lot to do with it also 
in the travel, the travel range, you know, you can't come in and do a big fight like this three days before a fight. It's just impossible to perform at that level, at this level. Freddie, that's the way you predicted it. You said that it would be early and it would One be Kovalev. I did pick him to win the fight. fight. He's a very, very good fighter. And you know, a lot of that, my, my choice was, was because of his amateur experience. He's he's had a lot, a lot of amateur fights, and just uh, th that that carries over into the big fights. Twice Campillo had lost controversial fights here in the U.S. No doubt about this one tonight. Kenny, I didn't pick uh, Kovalev to win. I picked Campillo to win. And the Woo! reason I did that is because he seemed like the more seasoned guy. But listen, I had to win division. There's a new player. His name is Sergey Kovalev, and he's a very serious, uh, you know, threat to any of the top champions. The Crusher, they call him, and uh, we see why why they uh, have given him that nickname. Very impressive performance tonight by Kovalev. Shows real power and a light heavyweight division that's looking for its next superstar. His 20th win, 17 by way of knockouts, and you see the Sergey Kovalev fan club, a growing group it is, since he uh, made his home base now, growing up in Russia, and he's been in Fort Lauderdale training with John David Jackson, and uh, worked with Don Turner, and he's got uh, some great background with these guys, and they all talked about how good he was when he came over here, Freddie. But he wasn't the typical European fighter. He had a little more head movement about him. They just had to tweak some things. And, of course, he's got that great big right hand. Yes, you know, the, the power helps a lot. But he's a very good boxer. He sees well. And he has great coaches. And uh, they, they did a great job. And Campillo knew that he had a big punch. I don't know if he realized how hard that Kovalev could throw a punch, though, BJ. No, I don't, he definitely did. And here we'll see some of the replays. Kovalev doing a great job setting up that right hand. Campillo got his back to the ropes. He had nowhere to move left or right, and Kovalev did the right thing. He landed at a straight punch, the first of, uh, of a couple knockdowns. Then you see Kovalev again going to the body, going upstairs and downstairs, setting up another clean, precise headshot, putting Campillo in even, <laughs> in even further more trouble. And then Campillo finished here the third time going down. And Sergey Kovalev, <laughs> there's John David, who said, he said back when we uh, talked to him, when he defeated Darnell Boone. Boone is the only tie. He has a tie with Boone. That was early in his career. He avenged that with a second round knockout. And John David was talking then, obviously camp, not bragging. But just basically saying, yeah, we got a guy that's going to be a top 10 light heavyweight, and we want him to fight the best. You remember talking to him just after that fight? Absolutely. And John David Jackson is a guy, when he says something, you need to listen. And I need to jump on the bandwagon because I didn't listen. I thought he might have been in a little over his head tonight with Campillo, and he proved me wrong. Excellent performance. Well, that's what they wanted to see. They said they wanted to fight one of the top fighters, and they fought the man ranked number three by the IBF and former world champ Gabriel Campillo. Now let's get the official time of the victory for Kovalov and go back to Joe. Boxing fans, the time. One minute and 30 seconds of round number three. Your referee, Michael Ortega, calls a halt to the contest. Your winner by TKO and the new star of the light heavyweight division, Sergey Kovalev. I see you, Salam. Hey, here's your hometown right there. Yeah. At the power punches, Kovalov, wow, 55 to 4. He was dominating the fight before completely wrapping it up here in the third round. And then the total punches, Kovalov, 227 to 59. You know what landed? About four or five big ones that put this away, but. I mean, this is about his dominant performance as you would expect in his first big test. And let's go to Chris now. Sergey, congratulations. It's funny, you told us yesterday that four years ago, you weren't sure if you had enough power for this light heavyweight division. Do you still feel the same way? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel great. I feel great. And uh, here are just uh, different gloves. <laughs> this is a secret uh, in my power. Let's take a look at the video. Show us the knockdown here. Tell us what you see with this knockdown. Get in there. 
What were you seeing there? What were you trying to do? Uh, 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 I see just the target. He is head and the body. Wait. Yeah, well, I, I just see the target. Here's that final knockout. What are you seeing there? You just just throwing a fire away? I tried to. Uh, I, I, I tried to uh, find the uh, open uh, target. He is really good def defense and. Uh, Every punch, uh, black. My, my every punch, uh, he he has a blocked like the elbow and uh, gloves. Like very difficult to uh, touch him. He was trying to go to body head, body head to kind of you know find the opening and to land that hard shot because he, he have a good good defense and he knew it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to land the punch. So he was trying to go from the you know head, body, head, body, f find a road opening to land a hard shot. You know. Yeah, a lot of fans yeah. like. You told us you told us yesterday that you wanted to fight a champion sometime this year. Yeah. Is there someone out there that you want to fight? It doesn't matter. I just, uh, just want to step up for title fight. Any champion, I'm ready. Cloud and, uh, or Hopkins, who will win this fight? Or uh, Dawson. Dawson or uh, Cleverly. Like, any champion, yeah, I'm ready. Because I, I, I'm here for for be champion, became champion. Thanks, Sergey. Thank you very much, Kenny. Thank you, Chris. Sergey Kovalov. No hesitation when asked biggest chance yet, biggest challenge yet. Certainly, he said, taking on the former world champ Gabriel Campio, and he makes short work of him tonight. Well, he dropped some names there, didn't he? Cloud and Hopkins. He was going down a list of light heavyweights. What do you think about that, BJ? Well, he said another name that's very interesting, Nathan Cleverly. Cleverly actually worked out in uh, Freddy, uh, Freddy's gym for a little while. And, you know, a lot of good names. And uh, based on the performance tonight, if you measure what he did tonight against Campillo, against what the other champions did against Campillo, you got to mention his name, at least to begin to mention his name, and uh, guys who are deserving of a title shot. That's what you said earlier.